to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Sheikh Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Tom Hickey, who is the Chief Legal Officer for Iridium Satellite. Tom, welcome to the studio. Great to be here, Max. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about Iridium Satellite. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about its origins and, and where it's going. Iridium is the, uh, really the only true global commercial satellite system in the world. It has a constellation of 66 satellites. Uh, as well as uh, a number of uh, spares on orbit. And we provide voice and data communications from a low Earth orbit, about 760 kilometers from the Earth. Uh, and uh, we connect, the, connect people who are outside terrestrial coverage. Terrestrial coverage is maybe only about 25% of the Earth's surface, so we would cover the rest of it, as well as providing one system where you could get coverage everywhere. Now, you're here at uh, WRC 19. Uh, you're obviously taking the, the time to be here. It's a, an important event for you. For what reason? Uh, absolutely, it's important. I mean, I think this is the one, one meeting every four years where the International Treaty on uh, the Law of Using Radio Spectrum has changed, so I think it's really important for uh, you know, senior folks from uh, companies that are impacted to be here. And this is really, there's so many people who have spent so much time uh, from delegations all throughout the world on study groups, regional meetings, uh, preparatory uh, gatherings, and so this is really where all the, the work gets done. Folks are, are here for a long time, away from their families, and uh, we appreciate it, everything that everyone's done so far. What are you hoping could be some of the outcomes from this conference? Well, we're... Um, we're following the particular item on GMDSS modernization, and as the, most of the folks here will know, GMDSS is Global Maritime Distress Safety Service. So it's the, if you think of the response to the Titanic uh, catastrophe uh, 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 a century ago, this is, in response to that, is a maritime safety service, uh, eventually for satellite. There is a, a currently a provider today uh, we would be a second provider, but we would be able to extend the current coverage for satellite to the entire Earth. So right now, there are, there's not coverage in high latitudes, and there's not coverage if you have a bad look angle toward the equator, so we would be, a, be able to provide that. So uh, for us, it's, uh, it's really important. These are, uh, we're doing a lot of work at our company to enable this system to work, and uh, I always tell folks that you know, there's a lot of work getting the network ready. There's a lot of work through the ITU process getting it ready, but if you think about that first call from a, a ship in distress, uh, obviously it's worth it to, because it, it is really a, a matter of life or death. Talking about the process in ITU, I wanted to ask you, with regards to ITU study groups, how important is the work of ITU study groups in terms of the, the, uh, the reports and the, the, the studies, et cetera, uh, to industry? I, I think really important. I mean, you couldn't get the work that needs to be done at the WRC to update the international treaties without the really, I mean, literally tireless work of many of those uh, study groups uh, over the really the past four years. And so to go through, uh, since the ITU works through consensus, to be able to establish a consensus issue by issue, hopefully, uh, coming up to the WRC, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's critical. Finally, have you got a message here for participants at WRC 19? Uh, well, I hope uh, that they have a good and productive meeting. I, um, this is my second WRC, so I can uh, I look back to the WRC 15 meeting where uh, Iridium was interested in a matter of global flight tracking. And so I, I would just say to the delegates here who are, again, spending a lot of time away from their families that uh, what they can do, what they're doing here can really have a huge impact. Um, Four years ago, uh, Spectrum was protected for global flight tracking. Iridium is involved with a joint venture called Arion, and since the last WRC, there is a new worldwide global flight tracking system in place based on the good work that WRC 15 did. Uh, for the first time now, there are air traffic controllers across the Atlantic and in Canada and the UK who can see planes they never saw before. Uh, there's a 24-hour, 24-7 emergency system set up in Ireland for missing any ships in distress to provide that information. So, hopefully, they'll, they, you know, the the work of WRC 15 has prevented another Malaysia Air accident from ever happening again. Um, you know, barring some someone someone affecting the the equipment on the plane. So, that just it's a small example, but it's an example of how in a short time from one WRC to another WRC, what's done here can can impact the future and. I, you know, I'd love to come back in, uh, when I come back in four years to talk about how 
you know, those, those new uh, in maritime safety calls have happened and, and it's made a difference. Uh, what, what, what's being done here this month will make a difference four years from now. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Glad to and be here. Uh, hopefully, we'll catch up with you again soon, if, if not in uh, 2023. Great. I, hope, I look forward to that. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs>